Today we're going to be building a tier list with every single card in Clash Royale. Now I'm very excited firstly because we've never done this but also I want to see what you guys think if you agree with me and we have a brand new customized over here actually. We have a customized list as you can see we have broken, strong, solid, meh, needs buff. A lot of creators have done this obviously but we did make our own little ranking system over here. We're going to be going from card to card deciding which cards need a buff, which card could be better, stuff like that. We're going to be talking through exactly my thoughts on all of this guys. This is just my opinion. We're going to be doing this for fun if you guys are excited excited you want to see more like this definitely leave a like let me know if i could do any other tier list maybe with clash royale i'm definitely down for that you just got to comment down below your ideas leave a like on the video to show you guys like this type of video and keep on subscribing guys tons and tons of you guys have been subscribing lately it means a ton we're on the road to 70k already and we're probably gonna hit that by the time this video comes out to be honest which is insane so let's keep it going here we're gonna get into card number one without further ado it is the elite barbarian all right as you can see we have the mouse on the screen we could put it in needs buff no i'm just kidding just kidding guys all right so elite barbarians I would not say they are broken. I would say they're very strong. They're in a really solid spot right now because a lot of people are still using them. They're extremely viable. They aren't broken to the point where they instantly need a buff. They were a little bit nerfed, obviously, with that. They see pretty much everything now. They get kited by a lot of things. I like that. I don't have an issue with the Elite Barbarians being strong. I think they are strong. A very so solid and healthy card for the game, guys. They provide a decent answer to the Electro Giant. Stuff like that needs to be in the game, especially right now where the Electro Giant is so strong. Next up, we have Archers 3 Elixir. They're going to be solid, guys. They definitely can kill a lot. Of things definitely seen more in the lower arenas i would say i wouldn't say archers are in a lot of meta decks besides like maybe 3.0 expo archers are obviously a pretty big card in that deck other than that they aren't seen too often they certainly aren't meh they'll get a job they got like they, they'll get their value for you can be very strong but they definitely get countered really easily by arrows baby dragons skeleton dragons flying machines stuff like that the archers are just outranged by you're gonna get clapped in that sense but archers decent we're gonna put them in the uh solid deer baby dragon baby dragon's strong but is it strong enough to put in strong we'll find out I don't know. Baby Dragon is in Golem decks. It's got a lot of splash damage. It was in Splash Yard. I would say if Splash Yard was still as good um, as it used to be, I would put it in Strong. But for now, we're going to put it in Solid. Baby Dragon's really good in the... Um, yeah, I'd say it's solid. It's not crazy strong to the point where it's going in strong tier, guys. It is going in solid tier here because it's in a lot of decks. Certainly helps, just like the archers, but it's not like a component that's going to get you a lot of tower damage. It's not a component that's too tanky, that's too great on defense. It's just an overall solid card. Exactly why it's going in the solid tier. Bandit. Bandit is very strong, guys. Bandit is in a ton of meta decks. Provides a lot of value in those decks. For example, the bridge spam decks. The new drill decks that you see going around. The Mega Knight deck with like Mega Knight 3.1 with the Bandit Stab Goblins in there. All sorts of value going on in there. The Bandit is pretty essential in those types of decks. Gets a lot of value. Can pro provide a lot of pressure for just three Elixir, which is huge. And obviously can do a lot of damage to uh, buildings and stuff. Barba, I don't know if it would... I don't think it needs a buff. I personally say it probably does need a buff. But just because buildings scare me, we're putting it in May. We don't want it to get a buff, guys. We just want it to stay where it is in trash and no one use it. Because it's really stressful for me, at least, when you're playing against those type of cards. The Tesla would save you, but we're going to get into the Tesla later on. We'll see. All right. Barbs are up next. We're going to put them in mail once again. They get the job done. I wouldn't say they're super meta. They're in Lava Hound right now, obviously, which is not crazy meta as it is. They're certainly, like, strong, but in very few situations, guys. There's a lot of splash damage cards that are pretty much in every single deck. So the Barbs, they don't see a lot of value for 5 Elixir. It's pretty expensive. A lot of Elixir to spend on defense obviously the barb barrel i'm gonna go ahead and put it in strong guys it's very cool obviously it's one of the spells it's got to be used quite often especially since it is pretty popular it's in the electro giant decks it's in the graveyard decks barb barrel always pretty solid it destroys goblin barrel obviously but it has a lot of value on like tanking out five elixir troops like a wizard a barb barrel will crush a wizard a witch all that good stuff so barb barrel lots of value bats are definitely strong as well they're definitely not broken but they are strong for two elixir it's a pretty big swarm of units that you get that could do a lot of dps quickly because there's so many of them pretty cool card overall a lot of people using bats obviously very strong um the uh, battle healer i would say is meh at one point in the game it was really strong but battle healer it's really not seen in anything besides elixir golem collect correct me if i'm wrong i don't see battle healer at all i cannot tell you the last time i've seen a battle healer certainly doesn't need a buff i would say it just needs maybe some other cards in um that will go better with it or something i haven't seen battle healer in forever definitely not a star card battle ram once again meh not the best it's going to be like in a couple bridge spam decks but other than that you're never going to see a battle ram guys if you do it's pretty rare um you do see it in like the rage tournament and or you do see it in like yeah rage battles and stuff because it's really fast when it's rage other than that it's not the most popular card definitely could maybe need a buff here actually we're gonna go and needs buff no one uses it guys 
If it gets buffed, I would honestly be fine with it. It would be really interesting to see a bridge spam meta where everyone's bridge spamming. That'd be really cool in my opinion. Genuinely, like, it's... I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool. Even if it doesn't necessarily need it as much as some other cards do, I think it would be really cool to see a buff, what they could do to this, and that would make it stronger because it might make buildings a lot more meta. It might make cannons start being used or it might make other stuff like that being used a lot more, including bomb tower. So that could be cool for the game. Let me know what you think about that. Next up is Dark Goblin. Dark Goblin is very strong, guys. It's a quick attacking card. It does a lot of damage fast, and it has a ton of range which is really huge when playing it definitely a strong card bombers for sure strong as you can see this is a bit of an old list so bomber is still three elixir that's completely fine oh. Bomber's gonna go in strong tier bomb tower definitely needs a, something happening because no one is using it guys people that are using it genuinely have no idea what's going on in the meta just very casual players which is fine but it definitely is not as strong as it should be guys for four elixir it's pretty wasteful it does it like it almost heals the opponent's troops guys it does nothing it really doesn't do anything bowler it is strong i want to say it's broken it's very strong indeed though Elixir Collector, meh. I don't know if it needs a buff. I don't know what's going on there. Some 3M decks go around now and then, but I don't see a lot of Elixir Pump, and I guess it probably does need a buff. It does need a buff. No one's using it for a reason, obviously. It doesn't It doesn't give the value that it, you really need. Um, Inferno Tower is solid. It's always going to be solid, guys. It's an Inferno Tower, much like the Inferno Dragon. It's huge when taking down big tanks. That being said, Tesla is so good. It's just crushing a lot of the decks that the Inferno Tower would normally be in. Tesla is in its place, which definitely makes sense. It's easier to cycle. It does just as much damage over time it is insane obviously it's not an inferno but it crushes in terms of all the swarm decks going on very very high value in that tesla plus tesla is better the expo stuff like that so inferno tower is solid not necessarily needing a buff not necessarily needing a nerf it's just going to kind of be there just like the archers just in a very few amount of decks it's going to have its uh place for sure mortar i would say is solid now i don't know much about mortar i never play mortar i'm just gonna say when i do face it sometimes i either destroy them or they either destroy me no in between the more Mortar players can sometimes be very good, and I don't think the mortar is crazy insane, and it's certainly not terrible, so it's just going to be right in the middle there in our solid tier. Tesla, it is going to be our first broken card of the day pretty interesting i mean obviously a lot of people probably agree with me there the tesla's crazy it takes down everything it just does so much damage so fast it has a ton of hp like a balloon shot needs to kill a balloon needs to shoot two times to kill a tesla which is insane to me um so yeah lots of good stuff there expo i'm gonna say is solid it's not inc incredibly good right now i mean there's a lot of answers i never struggle against expo at least for me in the expo you know it's just a mid-tier card right now i can't put it in strong because i don't know enough about it much like mortar cannon card's going in strong and it's certainly a really good card it's got a lot of hp the uh hit points are there for sure it can sometimes distract golems it can sometimes distract other wind conditions and it shoots really quick which is cool to see very strong card indeed cannons gonna go in meh it's not good it's insane in 2.6 other than that there's really no spawn cannon right now guys the cannon is really nowhere to be found balloon we're throwing the balloon up in here and strong balloon is really good because obviously it just crushes guys it does so much damage it's got a lot of meta decks for it and it's really fun to play with as well. I like Balloon for sure. It's definitely a strong card. Golem. We're going to go ahead and toss Golem in strong now. Actually, no. We're going to go ahead and put Golem in solid here just because, I mean, it's not incredibly strong. The thing that makes Golem's deck so strong is that Night Witch, obviously. Night Witch is huge in those Golem decks. Going to be put in solid there for Golem. Which, we're going to go ahead and say it needs a buff. Now, Witch's skeletons can sometimes be incredibly annoying, but it certainly needs a buff still because no only players that are using it are like mid ladder players that have just a max level Witch out of nowhere. Those are the only people that are playing the witch guys she's not the good top ladder you're not seeing her at all so definitely good reason why she would need a buff clone spell we're gonna go ahead and put it in meh it's not in a lot of decks it's in golem clone that is the only thing i can genuinely think of um, a lot of clone decks aren't really sticking around for too long they're kind of in the meta for a little bit and then people just fade out um all, all the users of the clone just fade out guys it's meh i don't know how they could nerf it or buff it to make it insane or broken but we'll find out it's just meh right now it's just meh. a lot of people might put dark prince in broken i'm gonna go ahead and put him strong i think the only reason he's so high up there is because he genuinely was one of the best counters for the goblin drill and since the goblin drill is so strong still definitely is going to be in that broken tier for me we're going to just rate it now honestly the goblin drill is broken it's going to be one of the eight cards up here guys it's wicked good really strong card a lot of people have to put certain cards like the dark prince and valkyrie in their deck just to counter the goblin drill which i genuinely don't like so it's very interesting for sure dark prince definitely gonna go in strong tier night which we're gonna put it in i really want to put it in broken but i don't think i should 
I really don't think I should. You know what? We're gonna do it just because I think it needs a nerf. Cards that are in broken, I'm gonna... It's another thing for needs nerf. I think the Night Witch should be nerfed, guys. Golem is way too easy to use. Genuinely so easy to use. Just throw a Night Witch down. She gets so much value because even if you kill the Night Witch, those bats get a lot of value. Hence why the Electro Spirit's so strong. You need to take certain cards like the Firecracker, the Electro Spirit, the Electro Wizard. You need to take arrows just to counter those Night Witches, guys. It's ridiculous. I want to see the end of Golem meta where it's just people spamming Night Witches and Golems down. It's pretty annoying. It takes a little, like, no skill and it's definitely really strong still so night witch she's in broken that might be a little controversial but hey i genuinely hate seeing golem nowadays i've just seen it way too much other than that guys we're gonna move on the quake spell it's solid it's gonna be always good in a lot of these hog decks i've even been seeing some electro giant quake decks i don't know if that's necessarily too good or not but it sometimes works against me i'm not gonna lie the electro giant we're placing down our hidden tesla to cook the electro giant and i'm i'm expecting him to lightning it and then all of a sudden he throws down a quake spell it's like what the heck what is going on? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's pretty interesting to see. Quake, it's gonna be in solid, guys. Um, Electro Dragon, once again, it's going in solid. It's nothing crazy. It's five elixir. It's gonna be good against some things. It's gonna be bad against the other things. It is a overall solid card in the meta. Electro Giant is going to be joining our the rest of our cards up in broken. He, he basically does need a nerf. He gets way too much value. A lot of people say he's okay, but no, he's not okay, guys. Every deck in the game needs to be able to take out the Electro Giant. If you can't kill an Electro Giant, you automatically lose. It will literally take your tower just by walking up, guys. It gets way too much value against small units. It cannot be stopped, especially with the NATO. Um, the NATO makes it incredibly hard to take care of. Electro Spirit's gonna go in strong. It's definitely a strong spirit, one of the stronger ones, at least. Sometimes Electro Spirit can be really annoying to play against because obviously it can get so much value just for one elixir. It's pretty good because it stuns things i like it a lot it's definitely a strong card like joe wizard we're gonna go ahead and toss it in strong because genuinely i think the electro is it's a really strong legendary that a lot of people just don't use just because it doesn't have a lot of synergy with a lot of things but electro wizard alone is a really sound card it's got a lot of value in many matchups it can be really good especially against inferno dragons it could be huge it could be huge for sure electro golem you're next up we're gonna go ahead and put it in i don't know if it needs a buff but we're gonna put it in meh just with that battle healer guys because both of these cards you know you see them together and that is it you really don't see the elixir golem at all guys not the best card right now obviously some people make it work but they're probably cracked out of their mind with their elixir golem and that is it like it's crazy it's a very weird card needs buff executioner definitely needs a buff guys it's not being seen at all people that use it are just as lost as the witch users they're mid ladder people they genuinely don't know what they're doing and that's okay but the electro uh the executioner is not the best guys it's seriously like there's a lot of other cards they do a better job than the executioner here um it's not just not that useful because w not often i would say the uh, executioner is best against obviously air units because otherwise you would just take a dark prince the dark prince is a better executioner it's got more hp it's got the shield but the only way you would take the executioner over the dark prince is if they are if you're like worried about a minion horde but no one uses minion horde guys so why would you use the executioner you know what i'm saying the yeah, executioner needs buff very bad firecracker we're putting it in broken I don't necessarily say this one is needing a nerf, but the Firecracker is extremely strong. It is wicked strong. It's in a lot of meta decks. It does so much damage. She always backpedals, uh, moonwalks backwards when you just think you're about to kill her. You need arrows to take her down, guys. Very strong card in the game. I'm putting her broken. I really like using her. She's in a lot of strong decks right now. Firecracker, you're definitely in broken for me. Not because she's necessarily needing a nerf, but she definitely is really, 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 really strong. Fireball, definitely a strong spell right now. There's just so much Fireball bait out there. you got to have a lot of Fireball in your deck. The roll giant decks always carry fireball it's a really strong spell um even in pekka bridge spam right now fireball is dominating in the pekka bridge spam variations let's see next up we got the goblin hut i would say it's meh it definitely doesn't need a nerf it definitely doesn't need a buff it's just one of those annoying cards that a lot of no skill players use furnace it is broken it definitely is they need to do something about the furnace guys it is so strong so many no skill decks with the fire spirits in there and i would say the fire spirit is strong i don't think it's broken but the furnace guys you gotta admit the furnace sending so many fire spirits so quickly just causes the opponents to spend so much elixir it can be very tough fisherman is going to go ahead and be in strong he's a very strong card always going to be in the meta because he's got that unique ability which is really cool flying machine strong because he's got some awesome fireball bait value and the flying machine obviously with the range it's huge guys uh freeze spell i would say freeze and clone are kind of in the same i don't know freeze is better than clone i would say freeze is going to be used in a lot more decks it's really strong with balloons so i would say it's a solid card overall it's only good with a certain thing or two um so yeah freeze gonna be solid in about our median tier here royal ghost 
I would say he's definitely a solid card. I was going to put him in strong, but genuinely, Royal Ghost is not seen in too many decks. He can be good, but for three elixir, he is what you ask for, really. He's probably same level as Archers. I'd say Royal Ghost is a pretty solid card overall. Skeleton Giant, we're going to put in meh. Once again, I mean, the nerf really killed him, guys. They tried to bring it back a little bit, but it just didn't work. They, no one's using the Giant Skeleton. Spear Gobs, once again, it's meh definitely seen in a couple decks it's a little bit better than it used to be but the spear goblins i'm gonna put them in mech guys not solid i would not choose spear goblins in my deck dark goblins a way better variation of that goblin barrel is going to be in solid i think goblin barrel severely overrated especially with the fire spirit being stronger now goblin barrel has a lot of good counters to it log bait is struggling because of the um other stuff a lot of people make it work but i'm at least struggling with log bait i should say just because of the fire spirits guys a lot of people are carrying the fire spirit it's a very good counter the goblin barrel making goblin barrel virtually useless in many matchups where the fire spirit is in play so interesting to think about goblin barrel we're gonna go ahead and put in strong it I would say it's definitely the building right underneath Tesla. Those two buildings are really good. Goblin Brawler is awesome in um, Electro Giant decks. He's awesome in a lot of low arena decks. Really, really clutch. So definitely a very strong card in the game. Um, Goblin Gang, we're going to go ahead and put in strong. I would say, yeah, it's about on the same level as Bats. You get a lot of bang for your buck. You get five units for three Elixir, and they're all Goblins. They can help with both attack and defense. A very good card in the game. Goblin Giant, we're going to go ahead and put in solid. It's decent. It's not broken by any means. It's a lot of fun to play with, and it's not crazy good with a lot of different things. Obviously, the um, Sparky deck with that is the only one I can think of, um, or the Prince version, obviously. The Goblin Giant, really not seeing a whole lot of decks in there, so it's solid. I wouldn't say it needs a nerf or needs a buff it's just kind of there you hate to see it stab goblins i would say they're underrated but um they're gonna just go in strong still a lot of people might put them in meh no they're definitely solid guys you get a lot of value especially since they're decent against the drill that helps out a lot graveyard it's gonna be in um solid there's so much mother witch the graveyard is really not the best right now guys so many people carrying good cards to counter the graveyard because obviously you need an answer to that goblin drill and when people normally place their graveyard you have answers that you normally have for the goblin drill just for the graveyard like a valkyrie a dark prince they do decent against graveyard so it's not gonna be the best guys it's gonna be solid here heal spirit's gonna be in meh I don't think the heal spirit's getting any value or any love this season, guys. It's really not the best card at all. Hog Rider's gonna go ahead and be in strong. Maybe it could go in solid, but the Hog Rider's really good in many decks where it's cycling quick, 2.6, Hog Quake, Hog Rocket even. A lot of your damage is gonna come from the Hog Rider, guys. So he's definitely a main card in those Hog decks. Definitely just gotta go in strong here. Hunter, it's meh. I would honestly say Hunter needs a buff. Hunter, you're not seeing him at all, except for the lower arenas, once again, because the high-level Hunter will crush, but it shoots way too slow for my liking, guys. It's really not the best, in my opinion, obviously. This maybe is just a balanced card that's not many being not, not super popular. I don't like it, though. I think it could definitely use a buff, just like these two guys. Not many people using them, um, and they are pretty expensive, honestly. 5-5 five, five, and 4 Elixir. Ice Golem, next up. It's going to be a solid card. It's not ideal. Definitely doesn't do, like, any damage. It's pretty, really cheap, which is good. Once again, only pretty much good in 2 Point six. So actually, we're putting it in meh. It's really nothing special here. Ice Wizard, I'm putting it in meh. Some people might hate me for this, but it's not good. Ice Wizard, I do not enjoy playing with it anymore, guys. The fact that it just dies so easily, I don't like it. I genuinely would rather have an Electro Wizard in there or something else. Anything else, in fact. I do not like playing with Electro Ice Wizard. The nerf definitely ruined him for me. His a little bit more HP was definitely a signature thing, and they took that away, and that's okay, but you just gotta live with it, guys. Inferno Dragon, really, really strong card in the game right now. As you can see, we're putting in strong, guys. Inferno Dragon, it counters a lot. It's very meta, and it's really good cards, so... Knight. Knight is always going to be solid, guys. It's still got pretty good HP. Um, it's obviously not as good as dealing with, like, the drill and stuff. Simply why the Valkyrie is probably going to be above him here. Um, but yeah, solid card is the Knight. Lava Hound is meh. It's not as strong itself. It's good in pairing with the other troops. Exactly why it's going to go pretty low here. Even though Lava Hound decks are very strong, Lava Hound itself is meh, guys. If you send a Lava Hound at your tower, it's not going to do too much. Um, Lightning is solid purely because of the Electro Giant. It's crazy, guys, how strong that combo is. Magic Archer is strong for sure, guys. He can get a lot of tower damage, and like the flying machine, he is a good, really good card to fireball bait with, so a really strong card. Mega Knight, if you are in Arena 12 or lower, I would actually, honestly, hang on a second. If you're in Arena 15 or lower, Mega Knight is broken. If you're in Arena anything higher than that, basically anything higher than 5,000 trophies, the Mega Knight is strong. 
Mega Knight's broken in those arenas where he's higher level than anything you have because he will literally crush you. He will just crush everything you place, including like an Inferno Tower. Like Mega Knight has so much HP, guys. When it's doing splash damage, it'll literally kill everything. I know that feeling of getting stomped when you're like a level 8 trying to defend a level 11. Mega Knight, you're just going to lose. It sucks. Um, but um, for the most part, he's definitely strong. High Ladder, he is a strong card. Mega Minion, I want to put it in Broken, but it's not Broken. It's just a really strong card. Mega Minion, it's a very good card, guys. It has a lot of HP, and it does so much damage quickly, um, especially, to the, especially to those units that have a lot of health. Very clutch card. Miner is strong. I would not say he's... Like, Miner's always going to be strong. The fact that you can place him anywhere is huge, guys. You can assassinate Dark Goblins, Princesses, Firecrackers, even. The Miner can distract for things like Graveyard, distract for Bats, distract for Goblins, all sorts of stuff. Miner's go always going to be a good card just because of that ability guys minion horde here um we're gonna go ahead and put minion horde in needs buff i don't know i'm gonna put minion horde in meh i don't want to see a minion horde buff guys minions horde can be very toxic it's just not good it's got so many answers or there's so many cards counter the minion horde because of so many things do splash and air damage guys that's just how it is executioner wizard princess skeleton dragons baby dragon fire spirit like there's so much Firecracker, like there's literally just so many answers to the minion horde. It's five elixir, it's not worth your time. Night minions, same boat, guys. Three elixir, it's too much. No one wants to spend that on a little bit of air defense when you could just go with bats that have even more units and pretty much the same HP. Something that kills a minion will obviously kill a bat, but the bats are cheaper, so you would always go with the bats, guys. Easy, easy stonks. Well, let's go. Mini Pekka, he's a solid guard. Mirror, it's a it's meh. I don't think it needs a buff. I just think it's not a popular card, obviously. Mother Witch, she's broken. She's broken, dude. She's so good. Very strong card in the game right now. Mother Witch, easy broken, aka S tier, because she converts so many things into those piggies, guys. A really fun card to play with. Obviously, if you've been playing at all and you've seen her, you know how strong she is. You know what I'm saying here. Musketeer, we're going to go ahead and put in solid. Probably not getting as much love as she deserves, but she's really good in Hog 26 once again, guys. Can't um, draw her short there. Paka is a very strong card. I wouldn't say it's broken, but it's very strong because of how many Electro Giants and Golems there are. You can easily shut all those down. And Mega Knights. Pekka. It's great, guys. It's great. I'm going to go ahead and put Poison in Meh. It probably could go in Solid just like Quake, but Poison, it's not doing it for me lately, guys. I don't remember the last time I've seen a Poison. I don't remember the last time I've used a Poison. It's just kind of an outdated spell. You'd always want to go with Fireball pretty much now, um, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Like I said, Prince, it's a strong card. He's in quite a few meta decks. Prince Us, a very strong card, being seen more and more because of all the spam that goes on. She's really good in Log Bait as well, obviously. Lumberjack is only strong because of the balloon combo. Lumberjack's not really seen in too much besides Lumberjack balloon decks, which I think take no skill. Rage spell, it's going to be in needs buff. I don't think anything uses rage except for Goblin Giant Sparky, guys. No one uses rage seriously these days besides the Goblin Giant Spar uh, players. It needs a buff. I would like to see a rage buff, guys. Two Elixir, let's make that card popular again. That'd be really cool to see, honestly, um, how people would incorporate it into decks because it's really interesting that, you know, not many of these spells that don't do direct tower damage, including the Mirror, the Clone, the Rage, not many of these three spells are being used simply because of how, like, you know, meh they are. So, I think it could definitely use a buff. I think it would be really interesting. Ram Rider, it's going to be in meh. It's not a super popular card. It's not going to be the greatest thing. Some decks can work with it, but not most, guys. Not most. It's just, eh. It's a Ram Rider. Rascals are definitely strong. We would put them in broken, but they aren't broken, broken. So we're just going to keep them in strong tier. Rocket, it's really good. It's really good. It can be used as many win conditions now. I love using Rocket, guys. It's a very, very strong card in the game. RG is strong. It's always been strong, guys, at least for what I remember. And it's just so much HP, so easy to place, and it is really fun to use. I like using RG. I want to max it out on my account. Royal Hogs, they're strong. They're fireball bait. They're spammy. Um, obviously, not the best, honestly. They're probably... They probably should go in solid, but we'll put them in strong because there's so much splash damage now in the meta um, that there are a lot of answers to Royal Hogs, but we're going to leave them in strong just because they are strong. Royal Recruits, same story as the Royal Hogs. They probably aren't as high or bet, uh, as in their prime right now because of how much splash damage there is, but certainly a strong card overall. Skeleton Barrel is underrated, guys. I'm going to rank the Skeleton Barrel the same tier as the Goblin Barrel. I was going to go ahead and put it ahead, but there is Skeleton Barrel and Goblin Barrel. You know what? They're both solid. They're solid. Skeleton Barrel, it just, it's not as easy to get it to the tower, and even if it gets to the tower, a lot of people have answers for it, so we're just putting it in solid tier. Skeleton Dragons are solid. You see them in Lava Hound. Skeleton Army is strong, guys. You, ha you get so many units for three Elixir. It's got to be in strong. 
everyone in low arenas is using it if you're not using it you have zap spell just to counter it a lot of people using the skeleton army there all right one unit skeletons they are solid they're always going to be in a lot of good cycle decks guards need a buff you'd love to see a guards buff snowball once again is meh you see it in a couple decks but zap arrows fireball they're going to be a lot more popular um so we put the electro spirit up in here we're gonna put ice spirit in solid it's solid it's not game breaking it's not going to be as good as the electro spirit in many cases the log it is strong it always has been it's a great card to use three musketeers guys i don't know if it, i don't think they need a buff directly but maybe a card that goes well with them could use a buff um they're definitely mad right now i don't really like facing three musketeers it's pretty stressful in my opinion but that is about that tombstone needs a buff or something no one in the right mind uses tombstone besides lava hound players um so we gotta see a lava hound player like a lot of these cards honestly that are in lava hound you don't really see them, guys, besides when they're in Lava Hound. Pretty interesting thing to think about. Tornado? It's broken, dude. I do not think Tornado... I don't know. It's a very hard concept because, obviously, the card's purpose, the card's sole purpose is just something that no other card can do, and it's really interesting. I mean, besides, like, the Fisherman. But once again, the NATO's a spell. It does damage. It kites things. It's very interesting, guys. It's very interesting. I think it's broken. Personal opinion, of course. Um, but yeah, next up, Valkyrie. She's a very strong card. Definitely in there with the Dark Prince. Very mad up. Very, um, lots of HP. Wallbreakers, we're putting them in broken. I don't think they necessarily need a nerf, but they are extremely strong. The amount of pressure they put on for just two elixir is huge, guys. So we have a bunch of broken cards right up here. We will review them at the end. Wizard, he's solid. Honestly, he's way above the, uh, these other three, guys. Wizard is solid for sure. Sparky, it's going in meh. It has so many answers, guys. It's Sparky's not too good, especially with the Electro Spirit in there. Not going to be the best thing you want to see. Zappies are going to be in strong simply because they're really good fireball bait. And a lot of times, Zappies can shut down RG's balloons. Super huge on defense for in many cases. They're really good with the Royal Recruits deck and the Royal Hogs deck, obviously. So Zappies, pretty good card overall. Zap Spell is strong. For two Elixir, you can reset anything. And in the lower arena, Zap Spell, I want to see the like usage rate on that because that Zap Spell is huge, guys, for the low arena arena players arrows and zap that's all you need that's all you need to get up there royal delivery is meh not many people are using it for good reason you got many other options um but the royal delivery it can be strong but in most cases like unless you're playing like heist or something royal delivery is not gonna be ideal guys you want to just take something else um so yeah maybe a buff for that could be cool but right now we're just gonna leave it in meh the giant needs a buff guys i'm gonna say it right now giant decks they aren't there you're washed up if you're playing giant guys you gotta buff the giant supercell i would love to see that really really would be cool if if these bottom guards did get a buff, I think a lot of them would change the meta dr drastically, dude. It would be very, very cool to see a giant buff. Last but not least, arrows. We're going to go ahead and put arrows in solid. They're great against the Mother Witch. Definitely not as popular of a spell, but they can be really good. Just actually, no, screw that. We're putting arrows in strong. They take out princesses. They take out firecrackers. They take out dark goblins. Arrows are huge, and they counter the goblin real guys. Very, very strong card in the game. This is our final list, guys. As you can see, we have the Tesla Night Witch, Electro Giant, Firecracker, Furnace, Mother Witch, Tornado, and Wallbreaker and broken now i honestly am 100 down to accept that guys those are my eight cards that i think are the strongest eight cards in the game right now obviously that might you know you know this is just personal opinion i'm sure you guys will definitely disagree with that but to a degree i'm sure we can agree on things like tesla the electro giant the mother witch they're three incredibly strong cards it'd be interesting to see if they did get nerfed how they're gonna do that i hope they do something like they did with the elite barbarians um where they're still prevalent in the meta and they aren't super dead card because what they've done to the electro giant down or the giant skeleton down here is just wrong guys he's done he's done so his whole career they ended it but other than that guys this is my list hopefully you enjoyed this longer video if you did leave a like like i said subscribe for more and stay tuned to the channel guys we're going to keep posting more and more videos on sunday we're also going to be doing a live stream so stay tuned for that of course but thank you guys so much for watching have a great day everybody master diddy san out